at some point in your upgrading lifetime you will need an FTP SFTP server and this is just a really simple easy one that I found I will have a link in the description for the download of this application it is called free FTPD and it's just a really basic program to get the job done when it comes to upgrading firmware and things like that alright so I actually clicked on the executable part of my screen is cut off and I apologize for that but basically I'm just gonna run through the installation I'm not changing anything I'm just keeping it at the defaults of course you can tweak it and change what the program installs if you like and you're gonna save these private keys so click yes you don't have to run it as a service but for this demonstration I just click yes anyway to run it as a service I'll probably uninstall it later because this is not my everyday PC and depending on your um, administrative rights you may have to click on right click and run as administrator for this program I know I have to with my PC you may not with yours but here I'm just gonna add a a local user for the FTP server and I'm just using Cisco as a username and Cisco is gonna be my password and it's gonna be and you're gonna store it locally so that's why I click that drop down box click on apply and here you're gonna select the IP address of your PC that you've installed this server on mine is the 15.111 so that's what I chose here in the drop down and again you can change the directories but I'm keeping everything default just for this demonstration and both FTP and SFTP need to be pointed to the same local IP address and hit run on both of them once you get the green checkbox that means everything is good to go now I'm gonna log on to the call manager into the OS administration uh, upgrade software portion alright software update and I'm gonna choose the remote file system you're gonna do a forward slash because it's just right there on the root directory I'm gonna choose my IP address and Cisco Cisco username and password and I'm gonna click next and you'll see an error pop up and this is a common error saying it cannot locate the file because I haven't moved the file I'm going to use into the folder for the SFTP I found it's best to run it once because it's gonna create a folder inside of the program files where I actually need to move that file so you're gonna see me in a second go to where I downloaded the um, firmware update I just chose the 7942 firmware update for this demonstration I'm gonna locate that file right here I'm gonna cut it and I'm actually gonna copy it or paste it into the folder in which the SFTP FTP server can see it so it's on the program files and I'm moving kinda fast I actually did this pre-recorded but you can pause the video or, or rewind it to find out exactly where I stored that file so once I paste it here I'm gonna hit next again and you'll see that the application does indeed find that program and I can hit next to actually um, run this program so speaking of upgrading phones and firmware that's kinda like the that's what this video is about this is kinda like the pre firm phone firmware update video so um, in the next couple of days I'll do another video showing you how to update your phone's firmware I hope this has been informative for you guys I'd like to thank you for watching please continue to comment subscribe and share my video I'm up to 920 subscribers once I get to a thousand I will start my contact center series and I promise you guys that's something that you will not want to miss and I know it's gonna help a lot of you out uh, so thank you for watching take care guys and gals sorry gotta be politically correct <laughs>